So we're still in AppSumo's Black Friday drop one, and we still have about 23 hours at the time of recording this video. So by the time you get this, you'll have about 22 hours or so to pick up your early bird kind of copies of the softwares that are um, on special discount and sale right now. The price will be going up. So if you go and click on one of these, the, the price literally will increase. That means that the, what I think that they're doing is they're, you're actually getting this for the price most likely of what they came to AppSumo with in the uh, first place and then they will be adding probably about ten dollars to like license tier one on most of these plans so that's something to just keep in mind there's a little bit of a sense of urgency to come through and pick up any of these tools you can go watch my last video if you want to see kind of a rundown of my top five uh, recommended from this list right here but i thought i would uh, create a unique video for you on how i would use the top two recommended tools on my roundup video from yesterday how i would use those right and those would be from video tap right so we've got video tap right here you can automatically convert your videos into shareable clips blog posts podcast show notes and other content so this is one of my favorite content repurposing apps that has been launched in the last 12 months on AppSumo. So you definitely want to go and check out VideoTap, especially I uh, can attest to its blogging capabilities. It does a really good job with, with blogging, creating blog posts from your long form YouTube videos. And then also what I like about it is that it uses a Claude 3.5 Sonnet which is my favorite AI writer, even better better than ChatGPT, specifically for writing like blog posts and long form content. So that's what I really liked about it, okay? So we're gonna be looking at video tap, and then what is the other one? We're gonna be going and uh, doing a combo here so I'll go back to new arrivals over here and it's go also going to be Neuron Writer, right? Obviously, most of you know about Neuron Writer. This was the top selling app of the year last year on AppSumo. So over the last 12 months, Neuron Writer, it won. It was the number one selling app on AppSumo and it was voted the best app of the year by Sumo Links. Again, both of these, the price will increase in the next 20 to 23 hours, but we're gonna be doing a combination between Neuron Rider and we're gonna go and use Neuron Rider, but first we've gotta log in to our video tap account. And once we log into our video tap account, I'm gonna go and add videos and we're gonna go and look at, let's go with the five AppSumo Black Friday Actually, I'm going to go with Jog AI because I think that that would be a better kind of suitable trying to rank for type article, right? So we're going to go and add this and we're going to add video. So that's how easy it is. Once you connect your YouTube channel to VideoTap, that's how easy it is to run a, to add your video. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll be right back. But actually while it's running, we're going to go and set up. So Jog AI review is going to be our keyword that we want to rank for. So I'm going to copy that. We're going to go into Neuron Writer and I'll show you how I'm already logged in and we'll go in and we'll go into Learn Wire, right? So I'll click on that project. You just want to create your project and then we'll click into our project and we'll go and say new query and then we'll throw that in right there and we'll say start and now it's going to go and analyze the keyword and see how hard it will be to rank and then also it will go out there and analyze all the competitions, the top 10 uh, competitors and do all that analysis for on page SEO it, so it can give us the best recommendations on how we should optimize our content. So basically what we're, we did was we created a video, right, a YouTube video first. Then we are uploading that video and the transcript to VideoTap and VideoTap is going to write a blog post for us and include screenshots and do all this cool fancy stuff for us. And then we're going to take that content and we're going to bring it into Neuron Writer to further optimize it and give it an SEO score. And then we will go and publish it on our website. So this could be a workflow for those of you that need a workflow. I think that this um, could be a very good workflow if you're doing YouTube first, which that's what I do. So I will be back once the video tap one is ready. We got an error right here. So I'm going to go and see what's going on with that. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I don't know what is going on with Jog AI, but I've tried it three times and I'm getting errors. I've never experienced an error with VideoTap, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So I went ahead and just picked a different one. So we went Adelie AI. We're gonna go with that one and you can see that it worked right there. So what we're gonna do is go and open this bad boy up right now. 
we'll open that up and we'll go over to the blog post and it created a 778 word blog post. Usually it creates about a thousand word blog post, but this is a little bit on the shorter end, but guess what? That doesn't matter because this technique that we're using right now, we already have this well formatted the way that I would like to, the way that I like to do this. And it talks in first person. I hope this deep dive helps you uh, determine whether Adelie's numerous tools could benefit your marketing strategy. It does a good job, right? So what we can do now is, is we're going to be able to add content to this. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to copy this and we'll uh, update the title. I'm going to try to come up with a better SEO title for search engines. And so we're going to go like that. We're going to copy this. We're going to go into Neuron Writer, and I've already done this ahead of time. And this is an easier to rank for keyword anyways. Jog AI actually is a little bit harder at 22. Don't let that the green deceive you. This would actually be a pretty hard keyword to rank on page one for. Italy, a lot better chance. <clears throat> so we've analyzed it. I'm going to go ahead and click on that real quick. And Neuron Writer will fire up now. And then what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to look at the top 10 competitors and we can control this, right? So what I like to do is look for any outliers on words. That's a YouTube video. So we would, that's possibly my, my video. That's actually my video ranking number one, but I'm going to take that one off because I want to look at blog posts. It looks like word count. We don't really have to compete with much, but we do have a, a product hunt right here. I'm going to go ahead and take that one off too, because it's only a hundred words. And so when we do that, I'm going to add two more kind of articles like right over here we might go with maybe that one right there and then maybe right over here we'll add another one that has like a thousand words right there so i took two off replaced two you don't have to do that it won't matter too much but i went ahead and did that i'm gonna push next and this is how you use neuron writer at least this is how i use it in the most basic way this is the main way you use it is to to go in there get a, analyze a keyword analyze the top 10 uh, at least 10 competitor rankings we could actually add more if we wanted to and then we're going to come in we're going to paste our article that i already copied from video tap okay that's very important we, we're going to paste that in right over here i'm going to do a control v and paste this in right over here now unfortunately it doesn't paste in the the screenshots right so we don't have our screenshots those did not uh, come in as part of the content possibly if i push let's do a i just want to test this out maybe if we copy the html or the markdown so i'm going to copy the markdown and just see if that uh, makes a different real difference for us so I'm going to go like this and paste. That's just the markdown. No, we'll copy the HTML just for fun. And that's just the HTML. So there's not really a way to bring those screenshots in, unfortunately, but we can certainly come in and add those later. We'll just go in and it's, and this is something that once you get this down, I recommend just having your uh, virtual assistant handle this, give them the login information and so forth, or sign them up as a team member and video tap, and then have them, you can definitely have team members in NeuronWriter. And then you would just have, you would record a, a video like this, training them on exactly what you want them to do. And then you would, you know, have them do this automated for you. And then it would just be completely hands off, which would be super, super good. So let's go right at title real quick. I'm going to say, okay, so I just rewrote this underneath here. It's going to be a little bit better chance for us to rank for AI, sorry, Adelie AI review. So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to copy this right here. We're going to go into the title section and paste that in. Now the description doesn't matter. At least every time I've ever tested it, it doesn't actually increase or improve the score. We can handle this later on, but I'm going to go ahead and just push a, it says it's a little bit uh, on the higher end. It does give you some really good recommendations on maybe what we should possibly include. 2024 maybe would be a good one to put in there, but I'm going to go ahead and just say save right there. So then what we would want to do is we'd want to come over here and remove all of this right there like that. And now we have our introduction right there. So we're starting off at a 43. It's not bad. There's actually some other creators, AI creators that I paste in here and they get a 41 or a 40 or a 39. So it's not, we're, we're not starting off at the worst, right? But then now what we can do, <clears throat> we do need to go and kind of this key features of Italy AI. I want to make sure what that looks like in our article. The key features of Adelie, this actually need, these need to be uh, H3s and this needs to be an H. Uh, what is Adelie AI? Maybe that's actually an H2. And then we have an H3 here. And then these are H4s, I believe. And those aren't even H4s. So you might want to clean that up a little bit. And it actually did paste as H4s, so that's fine. We'll just go ahead and leave it the way it is. It, it will definitely work. And then now what we want to do is I'm gonna just going to come down here all the way to the bottom, and we're going to start seeing our word count. Our word count is 
764, you can see right here. And our, our SEO score is 43. So we're going to go and improve both of those. So I'm going to push return right here. And then I'm going to go into our AI writing and I'm going to go into the FAQ right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just say something like FAQ for FAQ for Italy AI. We're going to generate and it's going to go out there and create this content automatically for us. And you can see how fast that is. So we've generated that content right there. Um, once we have that in, I, I'm not really sure if we need, uh, cause I pushed generate and then it just went ahead and generated a title for us. I'm not really sure why it does that, but what I'm going to do is just going to leave that up there and I'm just going to say, write for me. And we're going to see what it, I think it comes up with a title automatically. So not quite sure why we have this title feature up there, but we'll see. So you can see right over here, we have what is Adelie. Now I would like these to be H3s. So I'm actually gonna change these to H3s and you'll see why I'm going to do this. So you can see this workflow is, it's gonna take a, it's not 100% hands off and you just gotta, you gotta kinda know that. Now you could just leave it the way it is and go and put uh, on your website, but I recommend kinda sticking with, you know, these uh, FAQs shouldn't be a higher value like these headings right here shouldn't, I don't think should be a higher value than the rest of the articles. So what we would want to do is we'd want to come back up here where this starts. What is Adelie AI? We probably would want to come down here and push a return and say, so this is what I wanted it to say, FAQ for Adelie, but it didn't start a title for us, right? Copy. And you can see we use ChatGBT 4.0 mini. We can select this. We can actually use Claude Sonnet. I forgot to select that, but that's probably what I would recommend. But you can use from those three popular AI writers, right? Right there which is super cool i'm going to come back over here i'm going to paste right there and i'm going to make this an h2 so then now we're saying this faq for Adel ai is an h2 and then we have all the answers underneath here it's answering that for us are there any Adelie ai alternatives yes there are several ai uh, alternatives it doesn't really go into that we might want to be more expansive on that part but i'm gonna go ahead and just leave it for now let's go scroll up and see where we're at now so we've already just from the click of a button changing a couple of headings from a h3 a h to h3s we've managed to go from a 43 seo score to a 60 so we've improved it by 17 points we also just added from 700 and something words to 1138. So we just added an additional 400 words at the click of a button. So we are already looking really good, but there's some more things that we can do with this, right? So we have a 74 right there. So now I'm gonna use their new feature, which I'm just gonna go back out of this right now. And every once in a while, I'll go up here and just push the save button in NeuronWriter, okay? And you can see we've saved our changes. And I'm going to go back over to the terms section. You can see all the green that we have over here, but we have plenty of keywords that we can still add. All these gray keywords, they're not being used, but they are being used in the top 10 rankings. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the auto insert. This is going to use the AI assistant to try to include the unused terms in your content to improve your content score. Typical cost 2000 AI credits, but it doesn't use that. The, it might only use a thousand credits. It, it does warn you before you actually start using these. So we're going to push this auto insert button. And this is a newer feature. This was not um, available even six months ago on Neuron Writer. So now we're going to go auto insert. Now it's going to do suggestions to boost content, right? And you don't want to exit out of this because it does give you a warning. Please review these suggestions now. They won't be available later. You'd have to redo it again, right? So it so here's what we've got. It boosts an impressive collection of 72 tools aimed at giving your brand and a consistent voice across all digital channels. And this is what we want to change it to. It both an impressive collection of 72 tools aimed at blah, 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 blah. And then it's saying all digital channels as noted in various Adelie reviews, right? And so we probably would want to come in here once we add this, we're going to want to go in there and make sure we just capitalize that, right? So I'm going to push accept. And you're going to see as we start accepting these, that the SE score is going to start going up a little bit. So we're still at 60 it's gonna auto save right now. That wasn't enough to change it from a 60 to a 61, but what we will do is we'll come back in here and it's going to add in Adelie and it is copy. It is copied right there. Oh, sorry, it is capitalized right there. So we're gonna go ahead and accept that as well. So we're adding in just some very kind of simple things that surprisingly, I mean, you could say it's keyword stuffing, but this is just the way SEO works, right? We need to really stay on point and mention the brand and mention the software more times than just a couple times in our content. And so we've just added that. So we're gonna come down here. We're going to accept right over here. That one's going to accept and every time we accept it's going to save for us 
And then right over here, user reviews, it's going to add the keyword user reviews right here. That's a keyword that is in the terms list as well. So we're going to go push accept there. And we're just going to go and accept these right here. And I'm just going to work my way down and just basically accept all of them, right? Because it's going to give us a, this one, it did use 2,200 credits, but we have 60,000 credits to use. So it's not a problem at all. We just accepted all those. Those were all pretty basic Okay, so I think the way that this is looking, so we've, we're down to a 60 right here, is that I, do we need to, I'm not sure if we need to push the auto insert button again in order to, to accept them and get them to insert, but uh, I'm kind of surprised that it's not in, in increasing the score. It did yesterday in my testing. I did just test this out yesterday. I'm gonna go through and just push the accept button on these again. Accept, accept, accept. And you can see this SEO score is now going up. All right, so we are done with that portion. So we were able to go from a 60 to a 62, okay? So that not like crazy movement, but it, it, it becomes harder to gain those movements once you get to that 60 range anyways. Okay, so we're gonna go through this process again. I selected non-used, so I'm gonna go and accept these as well. We're at a 62 right here, let's go and see. And you can see this, the terms right here, 71%. That actually did change from 70 to 71%. And we're gonna keep going and accepting these. It is um, adding more keywords in to the content. Now we've gone to a 72% right there. And now we've gone to a 73% and we've increased this to now a 63. So you can go and repeat this process and that's fine, but it will require and use quite a bit of your credits to be honest with you. So we did improve this to a 63. So let me show you one other feature that is pretty killer that you can do. So we've got this to a 63, super cool. Uh, let me just show you what I did. So you can go over here and just go back to not used and you can push this auto insert again and it's gonna go in here and try to add these keywords into the content, right? But another cool way that you can do this is you can go over here to this copy feature button and you can go, Chat GBT prompt with suggested terms. We can copy this and then now we can go into, I'm gonna use Claude and I'm just gonna go and paste this into Claude cause I like Claude better and we're gonna enter that in. And basically look at this, it's going to write this 2000 word blog post right over here using all of these keywords right over here. And we could actually go in here and use some bits and pieces of this article that we just created. And uh, it's gonna be filled with all these keywords right over here. That's one way to do it as well. And then another thing that you can do is we can go and just copy. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm copying the not used keywords. We're gonna go back into Claude and we're gonna say, now just write two paragraphs as a all right, so I just pasted those keywords in. I do believe that it is just bringing in all the keywords, but here's what my prompt is. Now just write two paragraphs as a wrapping up or conclusion to the article and include these keywords as best you can, title terms. Or So then now it's gonna go out there and write a couple paragraphs for us. It's gonna be a little bit more natural to just go ahead and add to what we've already done. And so we have these two paragraphs right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this right here. We're gonna go back into Neuron Writer. And we're gonna go back into the bottom, very bottom over here where it says the verdict. Instead of this, I hope this deep dive, I'm actually gonna go and remove that and replace this with our new conclusion. And I might come down here and just add a return right there for easier reading. And I might come and split this up a little bit as well. So it just looks a little bit better, a little bit more natural. Now let's go and see what our score is now. So we've just moved this to a 68 score. This is a very strong score. And our words are 1475. So I'm gonna go push save. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go copy this. I'm gonna go and add those screenshots, just save them to your machine. And then this will take about 10 minutes to go and upload this to my website. And then you wanna make sure to subscribe to LearnWire because I'll come back and I'll do an update video hopefully in the next week to see if we can get rankings based on this SEO article that we used video tap and neuron writer to create. So if you want to go and get uh, take part in this early Black Friday deal on AppSumo, uh, I recommend going and getting video tap. And I also recommend going and getting Neuron Writer as well. This is a really good combination for video first uh, blogging. Thanks for joining me. The links will be below and I'll see you in the next video.